George the Tech here at NAB 2018 at another broadcast mixing booth to show us their wares. And I've got Dale here from Arrakis to show us, well, what the heck is this thing? All right, George, this is pretty awesome. This is, this is our Arc Talk Blue. And then you're wondering, well, what's the talk? What's that all about? It's got two Bluetooth channels. So they can do full stereo. So if you're connecting like an iPad or something, right? Or if you connect a cell phone, now the people can call that cell phone number and you can put them through the board on the air, just like a phone hybrid. But you don't need a separate phone hybrid, just your, your cell phone. Very cool. Let me swing around here so Maxine can get a better look at the console while we chat about it. Now, one nice thing with the, since we've got two Bluetooth, since this is the main announce mic, let's say, okay? And we want to talk to the person calling in directly sometimes without going over the air if they were doing a live stream. So we can do that by either these two buttons. So we can go, that's talk one, that's the Bluetooth one, and this is for the Bluetooth number two. We've got up to five mic inputs. So if you've got guests and stuff, that's pretty cool. But on the fifth one, what we did is provide a line input so that you can put a stereo line like from a CD player if you wanted to or that kind of thing. But you don't really need all that because we've got the USB sound card built in and that's this channel right here. So you can play back your files. It doesn't matter if it's MP3, WAV, it doesn't care. And you can record as well. So it's a full record and playback USB sound card built into the console. Basically, this one's right around $1,100, and you can go to uh, Broadcast Supply Worldwide or BSW. Any of the broadcast uh, distributors, ha most of them have our product. There's Broadcast General Store. I just want to throw out a few names, so I'm not just picking on one. Absolutely. And then if you have a question, you can actually call us direct at Iraq or go on our website, arrakis-systems.com. You can get... You can look at all the info about it. Also, all our manuals are on the website. So that, we really love that because that's a, that's a time saver. You can download the manual, look it over. If you have a question, you can call me or anybody else there. Usually I'm the one that takes care of the consoles, so I'd be happy to help you guys. I've been doing this for quite a few years and we've got a lot of podcasters. Very cool. Oh, well, you know what? We forgot to look at the back. Oh. Why don't you swing around the back so you can see what the back looks like. We have our mic inputs here, XLRs, and they have a little adjustment. So depending on if you have condenser mics or dynamic mics, it doesn't matter, you've got a level adjust, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what that's for. We also have for phantom power for 48 volts. So if you're using condenser, you'll need the optional 48 volt supply, mm -hmm. all right? Then this is your line in, and by the way, there's a new uh, Studio Hub standard for this type of RJ45 connector for audio, and Arrakis has been using that for several years now, so we're up to date on all that. We give you balanced outputs, okay, XLR, but we also give you the program out in RCA, so if you have to connect to the line in on the computer for streaming, you're ready to go, you don't have to worry about level adjusts. Then we, we also have for um, muting, what this does is when you turn the mic channels on, it makes a closure so you can add an on-air light or, or on or studio light. Yes. Okay. We've got the he two headphones, which is nice. One will adjust with the level adjust, the headphone pot. The other is stationary. So if you have people and you've got a group that are, you know, you've got the mic set up and they can have their headphones and they can have their own level. Right. You just hook so up a headphone amp it's with... independent from... The, the main announcer doing his thing, so, yeah. Thanks, I always like seeing the business end of the mixer, because yeah. not all broadcast boards have all these connectors. A lot of them have punch down or pin connectors that are harder to wire. This is something you can wire into your home voiceover studio or podcast studio easily. This is George the Tech, NAB 2018. See you at the next booth.